The Daily Code Snippet. When using background size and gradients, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. Because of inconsistencies that occur depending on the browser, especially Mozilla Firefox, it is best to specify a background size using both a width and height and not use auto as a single component. So to be clear, it is not safe to use background size 75 pixels. Background size 75%. Background size auto and 75 pixels. Background size 75% and auto. In the first two examples, we are specifying only the width and not the height. And in the second two examples, we are using auto as a single component. In contrast, these are safe to use. Background size, 750 pixels and 400 pixels. Background size, 30%, 30%. Background size, auto, auto. Let's look at some examples. We are again using class attributes so that we can target each div with a different example. We will look at how the background size affects a gradient and use pixels, percentages, and auto. Remember, we need to specify both a width and a height. Here is the CSS using pixels. For the most part, we will keep all the properties the same and change only the background size. For our background image, we will use a linear gradient that is rotated to 75 degrees with a range of colors, blue to light gray to orange to red. We are adjusting the color stops and using color hints. This is how it would display visually. In our second example, we are using percentages. And just for fun, we will change the background repeat to repeat so that it can tile. Here is the result. In the final example, we will use auto for both the width and the height. And this is how it will display. The gradient now fills the container. Presented by Designers Learn Code.